Hey, my name is Uchidi. This channel is all about fun art challenges. For today, I'll be trying out whole bean gauche for the first time and giving it a short review. Okay, I said I will review whole bean gauche, but it's actually my first time using gauche. So if you're an art newbie like me, don't worry. It's basically an opaque watercolor and you can learn more about it with me. Anyways, let's check out what I bought. It looks so fancy and I think it's because it's made by the famous whole bean. They are supposed to use only the finest pigments available and claim to have achieved the highest standards of quality control in the industry. This means their product should be consistently great quality and I have high expectations of this gauche, which I paid almost $50 for. By the way, these are made in Japan and they're only $20 there. Of course, since it's my first time using gauche, I can't just try one brand, but I need to compare it with something else. So I picked up these Savoir Fair opaque watercolor gauche for comparison. These are considered student grade and were only $10 on sale. By the way, this set was made in China. Now it's time to compare. At the end of the video, hopefully you can have some idea of how to use it. Let's start with swatching them out. My first impression of gauche was it's milky and similar to acrylic more so than watercolor. But look at it. It's super opaque, and the colors are so pretty. It's always fun to swatch out new art supplies, and this time I did two gauche sets, so let's take a look at them real quick. Wow, at this point, even without fully testing them, I already love the color quality of Holbein. But I can't stop here. Let's paint something. Here's what I'll be working on. It's a picture of Boji and Kage from Ranking of Kings. I don't know if you've seen this anime, but it's already becoming one of my favorites and I thought the art style would work well with gauche. Don't judge it by how cute it looks. It goes from cute to intense within the first few episodes. The reason I fell in love with this anime is because of the main character, Boji. Unlike me, regardless of his circumstances, he never gives up and always tries to get better. He's not your typical hero, but he's way cooler and more inspiring. Anyways, let's take a look at the final pieces. Can you tell which one is done by Holbein? If you guessed the one on the left, you're right. Let me share my experience using gauche. The first thing I would like to share is about the opacity. I mean, it's supposed to be what gauche is known for, right? You can see this from the swatches, but I did swatches of three colors again using the same amount of water next to each other. I can say that both gauches that I tried have an opaqueness that it would be so difficult to reach by watercolor. However, between the brands, whole bean has more consistent opaqueness. I still need practice of water control, but I think you can tell the difference. Even though the blue from Savoir Faire actually does the best job here, the red is kind of transparent. On the other hand, whole bean is very consistent in every color, or at least the colors I tested. I think you won't be disappointed by the opaqueness quality of whole bean, and you are less likely to have unexpected color when you lay one color over the other. Now in regards to the color quality, with the two I used, whole bean seems to be more bright or vivid and I notice it also spreads well and the amount of water won't affect the color that much unless you add a significant amount. It's kind of confusing, so let me show you. I tested out how the paint spreads with the same amount of water. I put a very similar amount of paint and one drop of water for both and put a good amount of the paint on the brush to see how far the stroke would go out. Not surprisingly, whole bean was able to create a longer solid line. And then I added two additional drops of water to the leftover paint and tried to color in the rest of the box to see how the colors would be diluted. With the Savoir Fair, you can see the color difference after just adding two drops of water. But you don't see it as much with the whole bean paint. It actually might be because I may have overlaid it a little, but the fact is you can see the difference between the paints even though they are painted by approximately the same amount of paint and water. So I want to say, with Holbein, you are less likely to have an unevenly painted area and can fully enjoy the color quality of the Holbein and its quality of Holbein color. The other one? It's not like it doesn't spread well, but it left a rough uneven surface at the end. It can be because it was my first time using gauche, but even so, I think Holbein still maintains the better quality. 
In regards to mixing and blending, I had a specific color scheme in my head, which is basically the same as the original reference photo. So I needed to mix paints a lot to get similar colors. Here's what I noticed. The soft floor paint came out darker than I expected, or I can say it's pale. It's because in theory, when you mix more numbers of colors, saturation and brightness usually go down. So it's nothing special, but between the two, Holbein did a better job when mixing the colors. It at least looks more vibrant and this will make a difference in the final product. Last but not least, consistency and color when dry. I kind of knew Gauss in general dries darker than when wet and becomes chalky and I expected Holbein to be so after I finished with the Savoir Faire one first. However, I did realize that Holbein didn't dry as dark or chalky as expected. In conclusion, it was my first time using gouache, but it was easier to use than I thought it would be. The combination of opaqueness and watercolor-like properties is very unique. I'm glad that I tried it out. Of course, I can definitely see a quality difference from Holbein over the student-grade gouache, like I mentioned earlier in the video. Like the consistency, brightness, smoothness, and some other things a newbie like me probably wouldn't notice. So, if you have been using only a student grade gouache for the past, upgrading it to Holbein will for sure let you feel the difference. But if you've never tried out gouache, I think you don't need to get Holbein from the beginning, unless you happen to visit Japan where you can get it much cheaper. That's it for today! Thank you for watching my video. If you liked the video and would like to see more like this, please like or leave a comment below. And if you really liked the video, please subscribe. See you next time!